Hello guys, and we're back with and um, let's play Sims 3, 3 Legacy. And as you can see, Young Master Wolf is sleeping. He, no, he needs to get through tonight in order to be able to get to work tomorrow. So that's his boss. Who the fuck are you? Are you were you the llama? Well, well, thank goodness he didn't hit on him. No, good, because that would have been a... Uh, no, thank you. Yes, Patrick is straight. Incredibly straight. Like, I've made by Sims before. Oh, yeah. No, somebody who saw this video no, suggested I sell the portal. And it will get us some money, so... The portal goes. Go away. Uh, the portal's gotta go. No, they won't be getting it back until maybe Generation 3, because uh, right now they're trying to figure out the... Uh, and he's trying to figure out the present. And the future can be left to one of his descendants. It's, and by descendant, I mean descendant here, not descendant in another... Uh, um, Forgive it. No, this is just me moving out in my chair. I'm uh, moving around in my chair. Yeah, like I was saying, being moving around here is not uh, descendants. Here means like direct descendants, like people that are going to come from the wolf family line. You know, while still in the present. Oh no! Please don't flicker. Please don't flicker, man. I do believe my leg spike. If it goes on for too long, I'll just edit this bit out. Out. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. Time skip, please. Okay, here we go. And what else is gonna happen? Now I need to take care of before he gets out of the house. Yeah, quick shower, bruh. Uh, quick shower and then quick meal because again you're going nowhere near the stove. You and fire will <laughs> um, are not a good mix right now. You have seven hundred um, seven hundred simoleons in your name, and part of that came from you not having oh uh, from you selling the time portal. So portal. Sensor. Do do do. Sensor by species. Sensor by age. Oh, sensor horse who Yes, thank you. Uh, sensor by age. You got all told. Tell the truth, please. Um, true. Option. Middle. No, okay. Can I toggle by scenario? No, sensor for males. Sensor on pilot. Sensor on toilet. Yes. Okay, yeah, there we go. You guys don't necessarily see the shower anyway, so that doesn't really matter. But, okay, there we go. I learned how to use my mod! <laughs> <coughs> mod. Like, I learned how to use my mod. Uh, yeah, I got these from Narset. No. Um, I wouldn't know how to call them in ARS. 
I have no idea. Anyway, uh, these maps come in very cool be useful when you're trying to do stuff that you normally can't do, like alien DNA and all that stuff. Uh, they come, uh, they come in handy. In the end, you are allowed to use mods as long as they don't mess with the mood or with mood or or money. Me, that now that's what I remember. You're you can't um you can't use mods that affect mood or money. I mean, there are mods out there that do that. And then I just don't see the point when you have um, mother load pitching and um, and family funds to work with. With in but you can't work with them here, which sucks. But eh, it works. Uh, did clean up since you're not going anywhere for now. You work is in like three hours. Oh, well, look at this. <laughs> Your ten garden, because that's going to be a source of income for you. And if you actually learn that this skill, you can... No, yeah, you can make a bit of side money from it. And then it can be a punishment for your kids. Like, no, you don't have... Uh, you're not only grounded, you have to tend the massive-ass garden in the back. Now go. And go. In supernatural families, I've, uh, where the alchemy, uh, where the alchemy career has been uh, prevalent, when I actually had a punishment for the kids, no, uh, for the kids, be tend to the bees. And because if you're a kid or a teenager, you don't want to go anywhere near the bee, uh, the beehive. It's your crazy ass parents that are go uh, that need the honey for either food or other stuff but you don't uh, you don't want the honey you don't need the honey no, you don't want to go anywhere near the psychotic bees and yet your parents are telling you no you can't no that you messed up so now you have to keep the bees and I'm pretty sure as a teenager you'd be like what but mom no, and then you can't. Oh, but then you can't say anything because you're in trouble. Or at least that was how uh, how it worked for me. I couldn't say anything because I'm in trouble. It's like, what? But then, um, but then I was out of trouble, and it uh, and it all got better. So you have a little time before work, so you can sit there, read your logic book. And enjoy yourself before your first day of work. Anyway, I need to go out and meet some people. Maybe at the summer festival. Good boy. Get off your book, man. And I will get that for you eventually. For now, we have some skills to learn. And no, you're not going to France right now. Oh shoot! <laughs> so there are the bills. Those you get those when you get back, dude. Change into your work outfit. And who in the natural world outside? I hear somebody else outside, but I don't see them. Why can't I see the other person? What are you again? You're an organ donor. You assist with organ donation and yet you are going to work in shorts. Okay. That's your thing, but okay. Hey. <laughs> I'd be worried. Worried. Get a new, buy a new wand. Yeah, kind of don't wanna. Visit Le Champ, France. You're not going to France right now. Now have a water balloon fight. Eh, uh, no, thank you. 
mean, if you have nobody to have a water balloon fight with... Oh, wait. Patrick has gone to work for the first time. I'm um, another 50 years of daily grind and he can retire. This man is not going to retire. Retirement is not, um, is not even close to what he has in mind for himself. Oh, he, wa um, he wants to continue making money until he dies. Nice. A mic mix at work. Mix. The hell's your name? Nix. Mike Nix. Okay. Infectious disease re uh, researcher. You might want to get to know him better. You know, have a bro. Um. Actually, is it too? No, but you are a llama in your off hours. I don't think I want to associate with a llama. Or somebody who is into dressing up like a llama. Just saying. Ian, are you going to meet any more core workers before the day's out? No, no you're not. Yeah, there we go. Hey, wait a minute. Meet medical personnel. Oh. He's already met everybody. You know, Augustus Brown. Oh, uh, Argus Brown. <laughs> what did I call him Augustus? I have no idea. Yeah. Anyway, Argus Brown is aware. Where this happens sometimes. Like um, another game I played, the entire research facility was ran by vampires. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me, brothers. This is hilarious. Yeah. So, read, and, but, this is going to be your routine, even when you have kids. Dude, okay, so, you're home, you're looking at the wall at home, but you're home. Doesn't know that drained his fun levels that much, man. Kinda suckish. And pay bills. I'll read that. How long do you get a promotion? Or the well, your bar isn't that high, so maybe a while. I will get you to. Okay, first your logic has to be top tier, then I can let you go out, maybe meet some people. Hospital saves more than it kills. The local hospital boasts that uh, it had its fewest deaths in years in recent uh, press release due to our top tier nursing staff, cool medical machines, and mostly trained physicians, mostly. We can happily say that we're saving more uh, lives than we're killing. Reads the press release to celebrate the hospital is having a two for one birth deal and several um, several specials in the cafeteria. Okay, that is ridiculous, but okay. Um, do you see what the horse was wearing? As one spectator, I mean, OMG. That is seriously the first. No, uh, that is seriously the first thing you think about. Wow. Anyway. Ugh. You can survive off that. Do do do. Do. Then recycle it, man. And finish eating that, and then logic. You want, um, you want to improve your logic. And tomorrow, when you go to work, you are going to chat up your co 
the workers because that's just no, uh, that is just how you roll. You're you are happy to see everybody. Well, not everybody. There's a few assholes in um, the nursing department that you just frankly can't stand. But that's just because they're idiots. And you're not. You are a genius. The same karaoke. Maybe on the weekend, brother. Or when do you have a day off? Yeah. <laughs> Saturdays and Sundays. Clean that. Go to bed. It was easy because of. It took me a little bit longer because of the building thing last time, but this time it, um, the game runs a lot smoother because I don't have to add on to the house. And he goes to work in a rabbit hole. Like, I know that it would be. Being like a hell of a lot more interesting if you went to no, went to work on uh, in a profession instead of a career. But I'm like, yeah, he wants uh, he wants to be a doctor. Seeing as he's a bookworm, I may at one point get him another um, another bookshelf or a TV. Bah. He has no need for such trivial things as TVs. Television rots the mind. We should go in a couple of days. Unrightable sim. Somebody got lost. You keep hunger low. I know he's a wizard, but um, like I said before, I'm going to limit his amount of wizarding for now because it just makes the game too easy. Like he can convert things, he can make things, um, he can make things out of thin air. It's just not fair to the game, so. He gets to be an average everyday wizard. <laughs> Bye, chemistry lab. Eventually, brother. Eventually. Somebody got lost, somebody got lost, somebody got lost, somebody got lost. More people got lost. Man. Poor guy, his life is like pretty routine right now. Oh, but that's just who he is. He's a determined sort of guy that go um goes for no goes for his goals. Afterwards I can probably get home so his weekends are his party it up days. Oh you can't garden? No well you can't no water yet? No it looks like you can't water yet. Damn it. That sensor bar just makes uh, things so much worse, especially if you have a corrupt mind like mine. Oh well, look, you get to learn a new skill. This is called handiness. You're still gonna have to take care, take care of the plants, man. Although not right now, apparently, because it's not, uh, they don't need to be watered. They need to be weeded, but you don't know how to weed yet. Do, do, do. Singing in the rain, I'm singing in the rain. And if somebody... He references the mu um, the musical. That's not where I got that from. If you guys can uh, name another source where I got that from, you guys are awesome. Um, 
and it's true because the movie is awesome. It can scar, um, that movie can scar people for life. Seriously. I mean, this guy is so lonely. I mean, I mean, I'll have him meet some people um, on the weekend. Maybe, uh, maybe do some leisure day stuff. Wait a minute. He will get an earlier day off. Leisure day is... Uh, leisure day is Thursday. Awesome. He can go out, do, no, uh, do some leisure day kind of things. Enough time for you to make the bed. Bad asshole. And he's gonna be so happy when he has a wife. Wife, well, live-in girlfriend, wife, whatever. I think he's gonna make her do ev uh, everything. Being, it's just the things will be a lot easier. Looks like you have that kind of time now. Logic! When in doubt, grab a book. I think there, there's something, no, that is something that most people can relate with, or at least most bookworms can relate with. When in doubt, grab a book. Read it. I would have chosen the couch, but the bed works too. I think one more logic skill um, skill point is needed for him to be at uh, perfect. And, I'll be, uh, and then I'll be able to give him a break from this. I can't water you, and yet you guys look dead. Why are you guys doing this to me? Fortunately, apples are the easiest thing um, are the easiest things in the game to look after. Do boss's paperwork. Not we're gonna see what peoples are up to. Talk around the water cooler. We're exchange medical dialogue which he is just starting <laughs> to know about. Now, even though uh, even though he's been trying uh, trying to get a job like this for years. Eh? Horrifying apple tree. Normal apple tree. And great apple tree. Wow. There's a range of apples that we have. No. You, sir, will sell nothing from this tree. <laughs> You're gonna make people sick. Or, no, you know what? I could get some normal apples from the horrifying tree. I've gotten some higher level stuffs from trees that are less than admirable quality. Then again, I played. Oh, uh, I've played a lot of scientist careers. <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed with that one. I don't know why, but I am. It's. I don't know. It's just something that I that I've always wanted to do. So I'm, and I tend it to make either goths or nerds, because I'm a gothic nerd. <laughs> so I tend to play around with that. No, with that concept. It, the last. Uh, the last time I tried a legacy, they, uh, they were a family of just pure scientists, but then I realized that you get points for every lifetime reward that you get. Um, well, lifetime wish that you complete. So, I had them branch, um, so I had them branch out into other things. Things, he starts with a medical career. Don't, don't know it, don't know about his kid. I will have to see what the personality roulette says. All I know is that that kid's going to be a genius. 
because he's a wolf and all wolves are geniuses. Just that's just a given. Whether evil genius, idiot savant, or whatever else you want to call it, that's up uh, that's up to them. Or that's up to the coin toss that is the personality roulette. But genius you know, genius is always a trait. So like you cannot have a wolf that is not a master at something. Even if that something is causing a lot of trouble. Which Patrick did um, used to do, but then he grew up. And then he said, eh, it's not for me. It's time for, um, it's time for me to get serious. And voila, he is serious. He is a, um, uh, He is a guy that is working on a scientist, um, the bouncing baby boy last night, the McDuff family welcomed a healthy 7.5 pound baby boy named Kobe into the household. The child is now resting at home comfortably. Charlie went sunset, um, valley million. Lottery! Awesome. Oh, I should get him a lottery ticket. That wouldn't be cheating, would it? Ten o'clock. No, no, you're not going to call the repair guy. Screw the repair guy. The repair, um, you, you deem the repair guy lower than you. You, so you're going, uh, so you're going to fix this thing yourself. Because you can do it better. Uh, coupon for drums level 5. Cool. So, now we have a coupon for this thing, which in, fires in several hours. No thank you. For tuna. We may actually take advantage of that. It's only 7 simoleons. We can afford that. And a coupon for drums. So I don't know what you're going to use the tuna for since you don't cook. And drums level five, which is interesting. <laughs> you don't play the drums. Brother doesn't play the drums. So why he would want drums level five, I have no clue. Maybe for a future kid or roommate. Maybe. He's almost up there, and he, um, he almost has a handiness skill point for that. And that and that's what I like about it is that you can get certain skills by accident, by fixing, um, by just fixing stuff or just cooking. And you can get the logic skill by working on the al um, alchemy, <laughs> um, the chemistry table. But he's a bookworm, so he can get it a lot faster, like this. This, so we zip through his reading until nine, and then he goes. Uh, and then he goes to bed. Did the ice cream truck leave us finally? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You. There are no, uh, there are no kids here to want a lollipop, so you can go away. Looks like he's getting along well with Mike. Awesome. Um, Always proud. And looks like there's a little bit of turbulence there. What are you doing? Okay, no work. <laughs> and he actually did that on his own. Awesome. Well, eat and then sleep. Now you're not gonna reset ownership. Done. And for today, I will end it. That is two days that I think that should have gone on long enough. 
thank, uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this video. You know, I will be uploading Friday my new another epi um, well another challenge that I'm gonna do, which is gonna be called the Orphanage Challenge. And, and that one is also going to be a lot of fun. Thank, uh, thank you for watching, and okay. I